Hey guys, welcome back to Outfit's Garage. It's not my outfit garage right now. I'm at work. Thought I'd do a little lunchtime talk. So uh, a little update on what's going on. We are uh, uh, gonna be picking up the rear end housings uh, come Saturday. Uh, he said he'd have them done before then. But uh, Mr. Emmett Lawson down at Bryant, Arkansas is going to be, uh, he's repairing those. He said he'd have them done probably by tomorrow night, which would be Wednesday night. Let's see, the 6th, July 6th. But uh, we're going to be more than likely going to, to uh, uh, talk, talking about going to I-30 Speedway Saturday night to do a little watching and uh he said he would just he could just throw them in the back of his truck and uh, we could pick them up there. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, he he still races down there every every Saturday night. Still does good. And uh, anyway, we uh, got that going. We uh, worked out in the shop last night. I I started back on the 327. I uh, haven't got any uh, video on that. I'm just trying to do some learning and figuring on, on the degree setup. And uh, I've still got a little learning to do on that. I, things wasn't working like I wanted it to and how I've watched videos work. And uh, I, I've just got to uh, try and figure out what it is. Uh, that uh, I need to do. So uh, anyway, just a little bit more learning there and I'll have that figured out. But uh, anyway, just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update there. We will be uh, at probably here in another, maybe this weekend, uh, uh, probably getting the heads on the 327. Uh, I'm looking to try to get it one of the intakes I've got on it. Uh, I've got an old Chevy bow tie intake, but that thing weighs a ton. Uh, and I've got a couple of aluminum intakes, uh, some some Edelbrock uh, intakes that are spread bore, more like for a quarter jet, but I'm gonna be running a, a square bore, uh, 4150 style. So, uh, but anyway, uh, just be uh, watching. I've got me a new phone, as you can see. Uh, I'm videoing. Uh, I can actually see what I'm videoing now and all of that. So, uh, video should start coming out a little bit more quicker. Uh, we're going to try to keep doing this. 319 on my subscribers, and I, I, it just backs, bounces back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you subscribe to us, make sure that you hit the like button and make a comment. Leave a comment. Nothing else. Just say hi. Uh, just something. And that, that'll that help uh, keep you subscribed to me. If you don't ever say anything, sometimes it'll kick you off. So, but uh, anyway, just wanted to come on here and say Outfits Garage is is rolling and going on and uh we'll be we'll be uh continuing just as soon as we can and uh uh hopefully tonight hopefully tonight i'll be back out there and uh doing some doing some work in the in the outfit hey i gotta show y'all something that i thought about that I don't know why I haven't thought about it before, but uh, when I get back out into the shop tonight, some of y'all guys are going to be a little jealous. Uh, some of y'all up north, Barry Rose Garage hit, I think what's his his high summer is probably what, 75, 80 degrees, maybe. Down here, if it gets to 80 degrees during the summer, we think a cold front's done come through. But, uh, it's been just miserable. I think the temperature today, uh, this is Tuesday, July 5th. 
I think the temperature today is supposed to be somewhere around 100 degrees uh, or even more, 105 maybe. Uh, and the heat index, I heard them say it just a minute ago on the, the radio, a heat index of 115. So uh, right here in central Arkansas, it's about like a sauna. So uh, all you have to do is go out and uh, work just a little while, and you don't have to go in a no-sweat box, I can tell you that. And uh, anyway, um, anyway, at night, what I've started doing last night is I went out and I have an air conditioner unit out there. I showed you all that the other day. And I got to thinking, when the sun goes down, the roof will start cooling off. The shop will start cooling off, but I've got an air unit. I turned that on last night, and it cooled the shop. And uh, it took it a while to cool it off because it was, I think the temperature was still 97 degrees when I went into the shop last night. Uh, about It was about 8 o'clock when I went out there, and the shop was still like 97. So, But when I walked out, the temperature in the shop was about 84. So... The, uh, that cool air off that air conditioner was bringing the temperature down. Walked outside and it was hotter outside than it was in the shop. I've never had that happen. So uh, we actually was, was cooling things down. So, hey, I'm glad I thought of that. I've been just been miserable out there trying to work, just sweat, and, and which I don't mind sweating, but it, it just makes it hard sometimes with it being so hot. But uh, anyway, my rooms are reserved in Saxton, so we're going to be there. But we need, uh, I don't know, what, uh, almost uh, about 181 subscribers. So uh, that's, uh, I was tickled just to get 181 when I got them. Now we're needing 181 more. So we're almost there. Uh, help us get there. Like, subscribe, comment, leave a comment please and hit the like button the little thumbs up hit that punch that and uh, leave a comment leave a comment down there I'll reply to you best I can and uh, uh, we appreciate all your comments we appreciate everybody that's uh, subscribed so far we will be back in the shop tonight unless something happens that I can't but uh, we're starting to starting to do some starting to do some moving around in the shop and things are fixing to start happening as you as you're going to see so uh all right it's russell here saying god bless you like subscribe comment and we'll see you again probably tonight if you just stay tuned all right have a good one guys